What's up guys? It's time to talk about some beauty favorites, the products that I have been loving throughout the month. I've been a little picky this month. I'm trying a lot of new things, but only a select few that are new to me actually made the cut in this month's video. So might be a short one, but this is what I've truly been loving. Let's go ahead and dive in. First, let's start with some hair. I have been loving these headbands. I have this one and another one, this one that I ordered from Ulta a couple weeks back. They are from Skunsi, I think that's how you say the brand. And they're different because they, this is a very popular style, this vintage kind of top knot sort of thing. I feel like I've seen that a lot of places, but so many people get the ones from Amazon, like myself, where they are fully wrapped around the head. And I don't know what it is about my head. It's big, it's awkward. It doesn't hold these headbands. I'm constantly having to like use hair clips to pin them in and keep them in place. And so I saw these on Ulta's website and knew that this would solve my issue. And they're super cute. Like they would still maintain there. They wouldn't bunch up. They're gonna maintain their fullness along the side here. And so they not only stay in place, but they give my hair extra volume. I have been without my tape and extensions for two weeks now. And if you are new to the channel, you might not know I have had tape and extensions for years at this point. Three, maybe even four, at least four. They've been tape-ins from Vamore. I have a couple videos about them in case you're interested, but I'm making a transition from tape-ins to hand-tied wefts that I will make a separate video on in case you are interested. And it's a totally different process and we're going long this time. But in the interim period, I'm reminded of how fine my hair is. It's not Thin, or so I'm told it really feels thin but it's it's not apparently it is fine and so it is so so hard to get volume and body in it so I curl it but then without these headbands it kind of falls flat it really lacks texture and it's just a little lifeless so I find that a headband like this it's just so easy to kind of throw in and style you can even part your hair a little bit to add some creativity put your hair in a ponytail wear it up a little banana clip you get some options but this just adds a little bit of interest to what I feel like is an otherwise flat and uninteresting hair look for me plus like I said they actually stay in place on my head so if you've ever been having issues with the headbands like this definitely go ahead and check these out next up let's move on to makeup and talk about what is on my eyes I'm sure a lot of you could probably guess because it's a very popular palette a lot of people had this in their 2019 favorites it is the Tati Beauty textured neutrals palette I was not able to get my hands on the first wave of this launch I was in this no buy headspace which I definitely needed at the time but then after seeing everyone kind of have and use this I realized this is exactly exactly up my alley. It meets all of the things that I want and need to have in a palette that is going to be considered my go-to. A range of textures, a range of shades, classic neutrals, but also some colorful shadows in here. There is nothing I don't like about this palette and I've been wearing the tail off of it ever since it came in the mail. Um, I've, been, I've been sharing quite a few tutorials on Instagram, in fact, if you want to go check them out. And like I said earlier, it's what I'm wearing today. I also got the Blendiful when I placed that order. I recently uploaded a review on that in case you're interested in it and I wouldn't consider it a favorite. I talk more about it obviously in my review video. I have noticed myself using it in unexpected places in my makeup routine and so I certainly liked using it for those things but it's not a go-to especially when I compare it to how much of a go-to the textured neutrals palette has been. Next up foundation. I have made the switch back to my Believe Beauty skin finish foundation about the last half of last year I want to say. I was very much on my Lancome Tante Idol train but in the middle of winter it just got a little bit too drying for me and this brought the moisture back that I really needed and also just kind of a more fresh coverage. So this is really what I've been loving. My shade by the way is soft beige and you really can't beat a foundation that is less than five bucks. Uh, I will say today, however, I wanted to change it up. I made a video recently about how you can kind of inject some more life and creativity and enjoyment in, back into your, you know, daily makeup routine in case you find yourself in a rut. And so I took my own advice today and I actually am not wearing any foundation. I am wearing a combination of, where is it? Oh, my Huda Beauty Tan Tour. This is a cream bronzer that I have been raving about ever since I got it right when it first launched. I started with this in the contours of my cheeks around the perimeter of my face and then I went in with the concealer which is also worth mentioning because I've switched back to my Beauty Bakery Insta Bake 3-in-1 concealer. Again I just needed to switch from my NARS creamy matte concealer because it was a little bit too dry with that matte finish. This has the extra moisture I need especially in my under eye area so after I went in with my bronzer. I just went in a little bit more heavy handed with this concealer than I typically would. And I just use the combined coverage and color of both of those two to be my foundation, concealer, and bronzer. 
for the day. And in case you're interested, I should have a quick little tutorial up on this look on Instagram by the time this video is uploaded as well. Okay, last up. I wasn't lying about this being a fast favorites video, guys. Last up, I wanna talk about lashes. Now, you know I love a good magnetic lash. That is what I'm wearing today are my magnetic accents from Ardell but I was hounded by these Instagram ads from a brand called Lashify, and I finally caved because they look like they are a step above magnetic accents in terms, or magnetic false lashes in general, in that they last longer than a day, but they aren't quite the process of extensions where you have to go to a salon, get them done, and then refilled, and the money, and the time, all of that takes. This is something that you can do at home, and it lasts between one and two weeks. So I bit the bullet. I placed an order, and I've been trying them throughout January and have been really impressed with the results. I don't have a video yet, but I fully plan on putting one up this week with all of the details because what I've found in experimenting is that I wouldn't necessarily go with the kit. You can see, I have quite the equipment set up right here. Woo! We're all good, it's okay, we're alive. I got the starter kit, and then I also got a couple of other lashes, different adhesives to play with, the prep, water and so the video is essentially going to be a review letting you know which products i like what i think you should start with tips for making them to last longer but for the sake of keeping this video less than i don't know 10 15 minutes we all have lives here you know what i will say is that i have had really good experiences with these and throughout the past few videos you've seen here on youtube the past videos that i've uploaded on instagram i have had them on and i've loved how they looked every step of the way i love waking up with these lashes on i love not having to apply mascara to and yet I still have this incredibly dramatic lash on. And I love that so far I have gotten mine to last a full seven days comfortably. So stay tuned for that video. But in the meantime, know that this is what has been on my lashes for most of January, basically. And so the hype you see on Instagram might might in fact be worth it. So those are all my favorites. As usual, I would love to hear yours. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.